Miami. Florida woman gets more than four years in prison for South Florida plot to sell $50 million drone to China. <laughs> so she, this is, dude. Let's see her face. If you combined Florida and China, it was going to happen. Can you see her face there? Oh, she is definitely South. She is, she is definitely South Florida, China. Yeah, she's South Florida, China. This is, uh, let's see, her name is. Uh, she basically looks like a confused Pacific Islander. Uh, and listen, her last name is Man. So she's technically a Florida man. Come hold on. 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 Yeah. It's the monster man. <laughs> wow. Uh, wow. Uh, oh, thank you, China. Thank you, Florida. You've saved us. Uh, thank you. Us. Thank you, China. Yeah. Oh, so she looked like. China. My mama says she, she looked like a dude. She looked like a man. She looked like a man. She looked like a man. She a man. Wanna, I don't want to assume her gender. I mean, her last name is Man, so probably a man. Uh, she was convicted of Duh. a federal charge. She illegally tried to export an unmanned missile firing drone and jet fighter engines to China via Broward County, Broward County, Florida. <laughs> she has been locked up since a bizarre incident during her June trial when she texted a federal agent while he was testifying against her. Come on. She texted what? him while he was testifying against her. She's like, hey, you look hot. I like your eyes. <laughs> Want some missiles? I got that's, some chicken. I don't know, man. That's kind of that's kind of boss like, actually. So wow. uh, it, it continues. A U.S. citizen was sentenced to more than four years in federal prison Friday for conspiring to send a fifty million dollars <laughs> missile firing drone. Only four, just over four years. Oh uh, man, um, it says she's from San Diego. That's a lie. She's from Florida. I don't care. You're not going to ruin my story. I don't you care. That, this um, is fake news. This is fake news. Florida. No, she's from Florida. I don't care. It says San Diego. But no, it's it's Florida. We're sticking with our story. You know, when when you develop a narrative and it's cool, don't let facts get in the way. That's what I say. That's what we do here. That's what you can count on from the folks at Losilla. We're going to make sure that the facts don't interfere with the narrative. Boom. So she had two motives, the sentencing judge told her, earning what she hoped would be a million-dollar commission and helping China to try to match U.S. military equipment and technology. Ah, oh, she was a traitor. Ah, oh, you dirty Florida woman or Florida man. You dirty Florida man. If man had succeeded in what she thought, if, if I mean, gosh, oh my gosh. I'm just going to highlight that part and read it in a more dramatic way. If man had succeeded. See, then it's, it's got like epic biblical, like mythological, heroic proportions. If man had succeeded. If man had succeeded in this plot. In which he thought was a genuine conspiracy. Oh, it was not a genuine conspiracy. Wait. Wait, so it was the FBI. Oh, she got set oh, up by the FBI. Oh, she got set up, man. This is the FBI trying to find... So they're 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 an excuse to exist again, <laughs> right? Yeah, it's exactly that's what this is. This is we, pretty much we caught this guy. No, you provided the weapons. We you provided caught this the incentive. Man. You made them desperate enough, right. and then you gave them your cell phone number to text you while you were testifying against them. This is this is this is pretty much the equivalent of posting a story on your Facebook page about helping a woman defuse uh, a semen bomb. <laughs> pretty much. Oh, God. So uh, so she says, I am innocent. This is my country, too. Man was found legally competent to stand trial. Her lawyer urged the judge to give her a shorter prison term, arguing she committed the offense by suffering from a significantly reduced mental capacity. Uh, I don't know. Uh, the judge said there was evidence man had mental issues and needs more treatment than she received in the past. But found so so. So it sounds like, okay, so she conspired with a man she described as a technology spy who is based in China and works for the military to illegally acquire and export military defense equipment for the government, the prosecutor said. She was so arrested. She was talking to a Fed the whole time. I don't know. I'm going to get to it, man. 
So she was she was arrested after communicating at length with an undercover agent who said he aha aha. So there was an undercover agent involved, and so there's hardly a more serious case than a case such as this that involves some of our most sophisticated fighter jet engines, which she had no chance in hell of actually exporting. It sounds like. Of the potential for harm to the safety of our fire pilots, military personnel, and national security, which would occur had the defendant been successful, is immeasurable. The clear intent of the conspiracy was to allow the People's Republic of China to examine and copy U.S. defense systems, blah, blah, blah. Whatever. The undercover investigation began after a man who ran a business with her husband that produced small electronic components used in cell phone and radios asked an industry source if a jet fighter engine would be problematic to export. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You know, you know, I have nuclear bomb. Uh, hey, how good, how easy you to know, export? Yeah, I need to export and... to Ancapista. Recreational yes, yes. nukes. Yeah, where, where they're, they're, they're normal. They're real normal. I they're normal. The it's going to to uh, to in, in Kapistan. It's going to Somalia. Somalia. Going to Somalia. It's going to Somalia. Man was freed on bond for months, whatever. And uh, so she sent text in Mandarin Chinese to the undercover agent, undercover agent from Homeland Security Investigations, who was the star witness against her while he was on the witness stand testifying against her. So, oh, 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 translations of the text were not, oh, you did not make the text public? <sighs> what the heck? That's kind of a letdown. I was hoping for more. I wanted to actually see the, the, the text there. Uh, so psychology experts said man understood the criminal charges against her and was able to assist her lawyer in defending her. She has also been diagnosed with depression, anxiety, and panic disorders. Man's written and spoken communication with the undercover agent over nine months in 2012 and 2013. So they did this over a period of time. Repeatedly showed she knew what she was doing. That it was against the law and she took steps to conceal her crime. So so it sounds like, I, I mean, I don't know the, 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 the full details, but it does kind of sound like... Uh, she's an idiot. Sounds like she's an idiot. And she would never have gotten anywhere close to actually getting a hold of a jet engine and a drone, a missile firing drone. It doesn't sound like that would have ever happened. There was no, no real uh, threat. So this is one of those, hey, guys, look, look, we stopped this. Uh, you know, this could have been really bad. I mean, oh, it never would have happened if we weren't, like, actually pretending that we could actually deliver for her. But that's beside the point. The right. point is that without us, who would fake conspiracies and get people arrested for it to convince you that we'll protect you from real conspiracies? Who? Who? But us. That's right. But us. I, I think we're done with this story. What do you think? Yeah. And we're done. Mar we're done with this story. America. Mar